How's it going everybody? Back in action with something new. I've been waiting for this game since I first laid eyes on it in the first trailer, I think. But it was announced to be free to play if you're if you're on PlayStation Plus Extra or PlayStation Plus Premium. So if you have the chance, give that a go. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be up there because PlayStation Plus lately has been pretty flaky on keeping games up there. But good to go. I know this game's not that long, but I decided I'll try a new kind of video, do some episodic forms, like one episode per mission, per side quest kind of thing. See how it goes, and if you like what you see, give it a like in this like and comment below. But good to go. Uh, first check is go to the options, see what we have. Uh, there is not much here for graphics. What do we got for audio? Not much for audio. Oh, there's... There's narration. I didn't know that was in this game. Okay. Uh, controls. I'm just gonna leave that as is. And then gameplay. We got vibration. Yeah, just quickly checking what we have. Uh, jump assist, invincibility, one hit, disable, falling. Show hidden portals. You can see portals that are... Oh, there are. Okay. Uh, I gotta keep my eye out for hidden portals then. No, I was hoping for, uh... Change controls, maybe, but I think this game's just very, like, Zelda 1-ish, like, b very basic controls is my guess. But good to go. Well, choose safe. I'll always choose the medium one, of course. The middle one, not the medium one. Start a new game. I guess there's gonna be something else once I play through the game, if there's more options here. Good to go. Oh, there's still more. Uh, if you're feeling plucky and you want a challenge. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's normal difficulty. I don't know if it's a challenge, though. Uh, relax and enjoy the story. No, go adventure. With his little quill pen. So quill pen sword. I did not know there's voice acting in this. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrum. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad. Well done. Racking. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. I wish he kept the one. one. Some serious beeswax. I wish he kept the Where's Waldo outfit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you do. I did think this game used the D-pad, but no, you're using the thumbstick even on the, the 2D side of things. We got slash. Oh, I did not know there was a jump button for 2D mode. 2D bird's eye view, whatever, isometric, whatever you want to call it. Troller is vibrating with the music. The music was booming. Sorry, can we go back in the house? It's like Mario's house in Mario RPG. Oh, wow, this this is a tiny house. Okay, nothing else to do there. Check for any other treasure, though. Oh, you can't chat. You can't attack in the air, though. Oh, there is a roll. Okay, what else we got? That's it. Okay. But yeah, I do know that this game goes in the 3D world eventually. I wish they kept that a secret, like for this game's entire like setting up for release. Like, don't reveal that at all. This was the house of the good wizard, Moonbeard, Jod's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad. 
He explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Pip here will accompany you. A mini quest! Woo ha! You take care of the goblins and I'll hold the wax back here for you. Dot dot dot. Oh yeah, they'll be goblins. No sweat for you though, right, Jot? Uh, how come he. Moonbeer is his mentor, but he's a wizard and this guy's a warrior? Entrance to the woods beckoned. Oh, read the sign. Probably just says this way. Oh, okay, tutorial. Okay. Collect as much cash as we can. Probably not gonna check every bush. Goblins ambled ahead. Is this the roll button? Yep, okay. I think I know what needs to be done. Three hit combos? Yep, three hit combos for now, okay. Trees down, is there anything else to do? I'm going up first. What do we got? Dead end, oh, the gates, the gates swung open for the plucky squire. Anything else to grab? Can you check behind rocks? You can, oh, okay. So it is a little 2D perspective thing, 3D perspective. Oh, is this the right way? Honey Peak. No, I don't want to go. I want to go back. It's still taking me. No, okay. Can I go back? Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll come back later. I have to go back anyways for Moonbeard. Uh, X to jump. Remind me of, uh, the 2D Zelda parts of Link's Awakening. Now this looked really quite precarious. Got took a deep breath. Oh, you still can't use the D-pad for this part. And off he left. Right, the dropping platforms that we can turn into infinite platforms with the accessibility. Oh, we got Goombas. <laughs> Goombas, goblins, whatever you want to call them in this version. A goblin. Oh, they take one shot in the 2D realm. I doubt we have Pogo. Do I have any aerial moves? Oh! Three of combo still, okay. Oh no, my land cable! Ah, the top of Honey Peak, the view is incredible. Now that right there is a massive owl. It's tomb Tower, that is. Anything else to do? Nope. Oh, that's a honey badger eating Pen Benny B's honey. When your toes jot, hungry, hungry honey badger can be really cranky. Go up and punch him. Oh no! Oh heck, here we go. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot prepared for a dust up. <laughs> This is the one thing I didn't know about this game, is that there's a little punch-out reference at the start. Okay, we got dodges. We got body blows. We have star punches, maybe? Probably not. Oh, two-hit combo! Oh, wait, there are star punches. Oh, I tried to start, like in the original. Oh, 
it looked like there were star punches. A powerful puncher. First achievement the for the first boss. Was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. Ah, back in the hive feels good. Yo, many thanks, Jut. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really messing with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Moonbeard sent us, Benny. We he could really do with some of that beeswax if you have some spare. If you have some spare. Oh, uh, for sure, Pip, my man. I owe you guys. Here you go. Elements to the whiz. Oh, what's going on? What's with all this ominous darkness? I think it's Humgrump. That's some good colors. It's just a nice shade of green. Oh, Pip's dead. Maybe, maybe Jod is too. Down they fell. They're okay. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Yep, it's Hump Grump, all right. Always up to treacherous trickery, that one. There's something rather odd about the magic he used. This is not the usual... This is not usually how the story goes, you know? This is to say, um... Worry about that, Harumph. This is a job for the plucky squire, Jot. Hump Grump is at Tomb Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause any more bro any more bother. Hello. It was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Do we have to check the index for that? Uh, hey, Jot, we've got another hump grump situation, huh? Moonbeard gave me the skinny. A Weasley wizard is at his tomb tower. You kids head over there and Jot. Put a stop to hump grump's malarkey. I'll look into the strange green magic. And have a donut. But that's by the by. Later. Goodbye and good luck. Although you never really need it, Jot. Jot's got a 100% success rate. No lie, I've, I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see the plucky squire in action. Pow. Lead the way, Jot. Okay. First allies down. Get as much cash as we can. Check if there's anything over here. Jot felt an urgent need to get going to the Tomb Tower. Okay. Oh, what do we got? To Tomb Tower. Is that mouse an enemy? And so the plucky squire is set out to off the tomb tower. Yep, okay, evil rat. Evil rat, evil mouse, one or the other. And I just got three hit combos. Spring in a step. What'd I pick up? Joy of art. You got a new piece of artwork. Press square to show in gallery. Take a look, enjoy the art. Uh, concept area, mountains, some early concepting of game environments. This would eventually become the green lands in the early chapters of the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's the collectible, just art. Already got two achievements, though. A gleam in his plucky eye. Come on, take out the mouse. Take out the mice that have hats on. What the? Oh, I thought she was going to talk. The something swung. Gate. <laughs> See if anything happens. Just click. Oh, kill all the goblins. 
Actually, how does my health work? It is three hearts kind of thing? Pick up. Let's see what the health gauge. Maybe there is no health gauge yet. No, okay, just boots you out. The gate swung open. We're in. Nice, you always have a way with words, Jot. Okay, break every barrel, find any cash, nothing. Okay, keep moving. Uh, Martina, greetings, brave warriors. My name is Martina, nice to meet you. New adventures cut down fearsome enemies and I slash prices. Let me show you what I have for sale. Uh, there is a collectible. Collectible art scroll that can't be found in the lands of Mojo. Throw your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from a distance. Uh, well, I can buy both. Sorry to- oh, we're using shoulder buttons now. Throw your sword again to retrieve it. You want to retest this move out? No, I think I got it. Pick up the collectible. It's a duck! A jacked duck! Uh, we knew we wanted to feature a boxing minigame, but it looks took a while to land on exactly who your opponent would be. As it turns out, it wouldn't be a giant muscular duck. Why not? That's better than a honey badger for sure! It was lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check in again. Next time we meet, it'll have new stock. You keep saving land from bad business, and my business will save you from bad deals. So long, brave warriors. Oh, you click it again, it just immediately comes back. I thought it was gonna, you throw it, it lands somewhere, you have to recall it with R2 again. Hey, okay, keep exploring. Finding any bit of cash I can. Now, does the sword throw do the same amount of damage as a normal swing? Oh, okay. Six HP, got it. Reminds me of the stamina gauge from Zelda. Oh, what's that little guy? Oh, what I get? Cute little glitch bird. You found a lost glitch bird. It will return to its homeland. What's it do? The tomb tower. Okay. Well, there it is. The mysterious ancient owl. All the knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know? Whoa. Not sure the ground should be doing this. Oh, Pip's dead again. Chapter 2, Tome Tower. Okay. <laughs> the tutorial was a whole chapter, I guess. Our heroes hung on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails. When suddenly... They were grabbed. And hoisted up. By whom? By Thrash. The local punk rocker. Thrash was a mountain troll. And Jot and Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. Thrash, oh boy, you really saved our skins. Are we happy to see you? Triple trouble together again. I'm just stoked I could find you dudes. After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both heading to Tomb Tower. I figured I'd help you out in your way. The path is, the path is wrecked, huh? Well, there's more than one route to Tomb Tower. Tomb Tower? Ah, uh, let's get down to the ground. Is he gonna jump? Oh, he did. Okay. Can I go up? Oh, no, that's a wall. Okay. Violet's just gonna watch. Uh, this is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's Trash. I'm probably gonna wind up calling him Trash at some point. Let's do this. Jump. Well, I already did. Why do I have to click a different button to jump when there's a jump button? 
Can we Goomba Stomp? Oh, you can Goomba Stomp. Okay. I'm gonna assume that, oh crap. I'm gonna assume there's probably an achievement for like Goomba Stomping enough of them. Is this a secret path? Nope. Yeah, there's gotta be some kind of achievement for Goomba Stomping enough of them. I'm still trying to use the D-pad at some points here. Ow! Oh, I guess I could've whirled. That'd be like Goomba Stomp 10 of them or something. Okay, we're here. And here was Thrash, waiting on the ground. Nice climbing, dude. We both got down that cliffside with banging style. Get a good rhythm going on there, dudes. You think? No, I did re feel rather graceful, sort of like hopping mountain rabbit. Well, now we're down on the ground, best on to Tomb Tower. Head lead the way, Plucky Squire. We have a team, but oh, look at those bouncing boulders. They're vanishing into thin air. Majorly weird. Little do they know the actual thing that's happening. It's odd that you have a team, like, you can use them, but I think they're just gonna be following you most of the game. And chop a few more to get some more... light bulbs, I guess? Are they gonna explain why the light bulbs are currency? Unless it's like a... it's supposed to represent an idea currency kind of thing. It's a tomb tower. A bull! Looks angry. Good job. Good job none of us is wearing red. Whew. That's wearing red. He's covered in it. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of red. More of a crimson than a scarlet. Don't think bulls are that picky. Can we beat him up or. Oh, yeah! Three hit combo is not enough. Like every bit of cash you can. Oh, I see art. Yeah. What do we got? It's... It's Jot. Ah, uh, early character design. This was before Jot was a writer and didn't have a quill in his hat. He already has that plucky disposition though. Okay, I don't need full screen for that, thank you. Okay, good to go. You know there's going to be an achievement for collecting all the art in this game, too. So we will be going for 100% completion, of course. Hold up, is that Moonbeard? He looks much more petite than usual. Oh, that's not Moonbeard Thrash. That's Minibeard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually you'd find him at Moonbeard's house, helping him out. Hey, it looks like he's out and about. Hey, Minibeard, what's cooking? Yo. You'll need a key if you want to be journeying onward. You walk to the right here, you might find one. Great advice from an old mini beard. Thanks, mini beard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and mini beard is around, always pays to ask him. He's full of answers. Okay, grab the key, kill the bulls. Oh, they're not coming with me? That's gotta do this all on his own? This tree is suspicious. Is it? No, okay, it's just the shading. I thought it was a different color than the rest. I thought we'd chop it down for some kind of secret. Can't chop those trees. Okay, I have to jump in. Oh, okay, I have a jump button. Why do I have to do an interact jump? Take him out. There we go. I'm not gonna grab the key yet. First grab the cash. Hey, there are monster doors in this game. Here's your key. You got the key. I knew you'd do it. Thanks, maybe your dude. Oh, okay. It really doesn't let you know when it's your turn to start playing again. Like, I thought they were still going to be talking. I guess you do get cash out of killing everything. 
As little as as little as it is. Here was a secluded forest. Ah, uh, greetings, travelers three. My name is Topsy. Hey, Topsy. I see you're on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you. There is something you could perhaps assist me with first, namely my tummy. It is empty. Left. I left my biscuits around here somewhere. You see, the landscape it seems to have changed somewhat, which was resulting in those biscuits becoming lost. Cats shouldn't be parted from their biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There's a word in that sentence just there. That might be the key to all these landscape shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. I, I, I'm assuming it's forest? Yep, it's forest. Uh, let's leave that here. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna auto- How- How close can it not be? There we go, okay. I'm assuming we gotta find it- Oh yeah, ruin. First take out any baddies. Oh, it's Mini Beard. What's he got to say? This forest would be dense, difficult to push things through it. The path might be easier going all around. The forest wasn't a forest. Weird thought. Okay. Is rolling faster? It might be. Okay, you can't roll while carrying. That makes sense, of course. Your lot was a secluded ruin. Oh, more enemies! Now we got rats. I'm assuming we have to push it into that lit up yellow area. Oh, okay, a little bit of cash. I guess you don't have to be near it. I think the cash will just come to you. Jot found Topsy's biscuits. Ooh, that's a that's some smooth pushing. Like I thought it was gonna be like we have to watch him push it. No, this is just smooth. Okay, the biscuits in place. Yeah, rolling is probably faster. Oh, don't throw- wait, 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 don't do that. Just gently put it down. No! Gently put it- I want to be able to see it. There we go. Okay! Then grab it again. Grab it again. Oh, you have to hold it, okay. Move the- they look like rocks more than biscuits. Okay, take out forest, drop that, bring in the ruins, drop that, and puzzle solved. Here are your biscuits. Oh, oh, okay, I don't have to do it myself. My biscuits, how I have dreamed of this moment, travelers, you have my sincerest thanks. The prospect of this snack brings a smile to my face. This land is full of puzzles and trickery. Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. You get stuck, try to see things from a different angle. Good luck, Biscuit Saviors. A little puzzle solve music like Zelda. Onwards. Oh, at the front door. Oh, I thought they were gonna talk. Talk to. We meet again. Here to take a look at my current selection. Ooh, he's got a lot now. Uh, sword damage upgrade. Spin attack badge. Performs powerful and surprising downward strike. There is Pogo in this. Okay. Uh, charge up and release everything. Spin attack. To easily cut through. Okay, they're going full Zelda now. Uh, I'm just gonna get the cheap stuff. There we go. It's Moonbeard. An early version of him. He doesn't got shades. Early character design. Moonbeard before the sun. His sunglasses. <laughs> oh, the sword doesn't look any different. It'd be cool if it had a little different aura based on the level up, though. Okay. Now we're at Tomb Tower. Our trio stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon. Loom. Tower. 
Whoa, it got dark around here pretty fast. There's some magic afoot. Everything feels kind of fizzy. There was strange electricity in the air. And a cockroach! That's pretty cool. That reminds me of Eternal Darkness with the sanity gauge. Okay, I'm in control again. This is probably a good place to call it quits for now. And see you guys next episode. So far, it reminds me of Hilda, if anyone's watched that cartoon on Netflix. With like the art style and just the eyes and whatnot. But so far, it's pretty good. We got through the tutorial. And we're getting into the action, I guess, now. And probably next episode, we'll hit the 3D aspect of the game and just keep charging forward. 